tell you right out, Hannah has a fear of the future of robots. <laughs> <laughs> and car giant Hyundai is unveiling its new humanoid robot that's really going to freak her out. They plan to roll it out <laughs> and manufacturing companies the next few years. Yeah, Fox's Sophia Brensma was at CES to see the live demonstration and how robotics are being introduced to society. At CES 2026, physical AI is the main focus, and it's taking place right inside where companies are unveiling their new products aimed to help humans in the physical world. Hyundai unveiled their Atlas humanoid robot at CES, calling it the Ferrari version of a humanoid. Standing at six foot two with 360 degree mobility, Atlas can perform tasks differently than humans, specifically for industrial work. The technology has drastically advanced in the last few years. The advent of AI specifically for robotics has really changed what we're able to accomplish. Learning from someone teaching it a new task or simply watching someone do the job, it continues to advance and when it fails, it gets notified. It can continue to get better and better over time based on what it learned from what we told it. The newest generation of Atlas can lift 110 pounds and can lift 66 pounds continuously. Continuously. It can work in extreme conditions from negative four degrees to 104. The reason especially that Atlas needs to work at high temperatures is because facilities, especially industrial facilities, are not always air conditioned. Any jobs where there's heavy lifting, taxing labor, also done in really high temperature environments, Atlas can help out with. With the water resistant exterior, Atlas is designed to be deployed in factories soon and can work coherently alongside people. So our plan with Hyundai is to start rolling Atlas out to do high heavy sequencing tasks in 2028. So Atlas will be doing sequencing in Hyundai facilities in the next few years. And then by 2030, that's really when our operational expansion will become a lot bigger. And tech companies tell me that there is a labor shortage for certain kinds of work, especially in the industrial industry. That's when they say these types of robotic machines will come into play to help. And the cool wow. thing is when you teach one robot one skill, it teaches all of the other robots all over the world the same skill. I, it is giving me a little bit mm -hmm. of a Terminator vibe. <laughs> I, will, I will say, though, uh, if you can make those robots for just make it very affordable, and can they help with cleaning yeah. and doing the dishes yeah. and all that stuff, I'll be for it. Right, I'm a about, fan. I think we're about 10 years away from that. Okay.